Previously on Jake Osir. I don't care if I miss a game, I have to meet this person. Man. I don't see them anywhere, man. What is up, guys? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. New day, new adventure. But today we got a very exciting adventure. Remember when I told y'all that I that I had DM that one celebrity and that um that they responded? Well, they agreed to meet with me literally right now. So I am on my way to meet with this freaking inspiration to my life literally that's what this person is as an inspiration to my life the reason why I've been posting so often and just like grinding this hard is because of this person because I am following in this person's footsteps this person uh, inspired me to do what I'm currently doing and honestly I couldn't be happier so I'm I'm just so excited to meet him man uh, it's crazy I'm literally like look you can see I'm not even joking like I'm shaking bro Oh. But yeah, right now we are two minutes away from our destination where we're gonna meet him up at and Probably five minutes away from meeting this person. I'm excited. I'm out of words um, All I can say is Keep chasing your dreams All right, we made it. I'll keep you guys updated. All right guys, it is time. The celebrity is here. My inspiration is here. Let's get it going. Clap it up for Kevin. What's good, uh, Kevin? Chilling, bro. Chillin'. How you been, my, my boy? Fault, bro. My uh, really, bro. My fault, bro. Really, bro. Bro, I was just telling them, bro, and I wasn't capping. Well, I already told you over there in, in your apartment as well, but you bro, you've been a really big inspiration for me. The reason why I started posting so consistently and you know just getting on my grind lately is 100% because of you bro like I saw That's how you crazy. were grinding it motivated me to do the same and now we out here bro grinding and being consistent damn bro that's badass bro I know so, just wanted to tell you thank you bro thank you no, for bro, inspiring me in you, that bro. way actually those words mean a lot to me bro because I never thought like it would like inspire like you or like um like the other boys so that's crazy no trust me bro we were all seeing it. Like my brother no, was yeah, inspired Harry, by yeah, it. I'm pretty sure. Jose and it, it was a good was feeling too. Whenever, uh, whenever like the boys and you were, like tell me that we watch your video, we're watching your video. I'm like, damn, mm -hmm. this motherfucker actually were watching it. But yeah, that's badass, bro. Appreciate y'all. No, nah, yeah, for sure. But Kevin, I have asked the people of Instagram to, <laughs> you know, send over some questions to ask you. Are you ready, my boy? Let's little do it, quick, man. Little quick, you and no, you. Are. You. <laughs> Quick Q and A <laughs> featuring my boy Kevo. Yes, sir. All right, first question: Let's Does do Kev it. enjoy making YouTube videos? Boy, what well, I love making YouTube videos, bro. It's just like it's just the feeling of picking up the camera and just recording what I do in my daily basis in my life. It's just badass, and also the f the best feeling ever is posting. I don't know how I'm pretty sure you feel good whenever that video says posted or when it, whenever you push public yeah, I'm pretty sure no I'm pretty sure like I, get, I just get a good feeling when I put public on the video and I just feel relieved mm -hmm. That I posted and it's, it's, a, it's just a good ass feeling. I feel like most of us we were all like dreaming of like becoming youtubers Because mm -hmm. you know, we were all we grew up watching all these like badass like, you know These like youtubers doing what what we do now. That's that's crazy. No, yeah, yeah, for a long time, it was my dream, bro, to become a YouTuber. Yeah, bro. It's... Now we get to do it, bro, yeah, for a yeah. living. It's badass. It's a blessing, man. It's a blessing. <sighs> Grateful for everything. What are two things you like about being single? That I can do what the fuck I want, man. <laughs> I don't have to worry about nothing. I don't have to worry about no girl telling me what to do or getting a fucking text message saying, why are you doing this, why are you posting this, especially from what we do, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cause y'all be reckless. Oh you know, yeah, we we be on we be on some stupid shit, bro. <laughs> but yeah, but imagine the things. Imagine if I had it like if I was talking to somebody, and then we were doing nah, all but, stupid but, shit. Honestly yeah. speaking, bro, I feel like you'd be the type to like drop all of that for a girl, bro. 
Nah. I feel like nah, nah, hell bro. Nah. Yes, bro. Nah. I mean, I mean, I don't know. It's hard. I feel like it's hard because nine times out of ten, you would choose your girl over your boys, bro. I mean, I feel oh like no, you're, you're well, a I'm not like that, bro. Oh no, I'm, oh no, of oh, yeah, like hundred percent. Like if I, if I, if the right one actually comes, and then like she actually like does care about me and like actually loves me then of course then yeah i'll love her i'll be i'm i'm like i'm a lovey-dovey guy mm -hmm. i don't i don't i'm not gonna say i'm not but it's just like i just feel like if i were to get a girl or start talking to someone it'll just i feel like she would just push me back mm -hmm. like for when i do and especially what like you said bro we be saying stupid shit doing stupid shit i feel like that's gonna like get in the way and nah, not right now i don't think i'm looking for a relationship anytime soon yeah, I'm chilling. You heard him here first. Don't hit him up. Nah, actually, do hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> Where do you both see yourself in the next five years? I'll let you go first, my boy. All right, but I, I've, I've mentioned this a lot of time, a lot of times, but I picture me and my close friends, all of my boys, being really rich and successful from what we do right now. Successful? All right, bro. Come my on, bro. bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I hate when this motherfucker does that, bro. <laughs> all right, mm. I said successful. I see me and my boys being successful, you know, chilling, just living life, bro. Just still making videos, of course. Five years from now, you will still want to be doing YouTube? Oh, yeah, 100%. And then we'll all be big as fuck. And I'll, even if we're all big as fuck, I'll still be recording videos. I want me and all my boys to be successful, to drive really nice cars, and just be healthy and happy. That's really it. What about you? What about you? Oh, me, me? Yeah, yeah. That's you too, motherfucker. Yeah, in five years, bro. If there's anything, bro, I would still want to be doing social media, oh, man. Yeah, Especially yeah. YouTube. I don't know. There's just a joy that I get out of doing YouTube, man. It's just, it makes me really, really genuinely happy to just do it. Like, regardless of the views and the money, mm -hmm. just getting to do this and calling it my job, it's a blessing to me. I would still want to be doing this in five years. But yeah, man, hopefully by then I'm way more successful than I am now. And we are. And yeah, really not massive. hopefully we will be. Yeah, there we go. All right, next question. Is it true you got a small dick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when was your first kiss and can you describe it? Ooh, I actually, long story short, damn bro. I really, it was actually recent. It was like- Your first kiss was uh -huh. recent? Well, no, not recent, but like, <laughs> no, not recent, but bro, I'm 20 now. I had my first kiss when I was 18. Wait. Mm -hmm. It's basically, I got my first kiss from my first girlfriend that I was working at Home Depot. Aww. So, yeah, that's really it. And then I was really, I was, I was really being like, because I never got my oh, first kiss before. When I met you, you were still dating her. Yeah, yeah. Remember? but Yeah, yeah. But even when I met you and when I met all of you guys, we were in the like, in the breaking, breaking up stage. Oh. She was holding me back and all that, being toxic, but. Uh, nah, but yeah, I got my first kiss at 18. My first girlfriend, I met her at. We both met each other at Home Depot, and then yeah, I was being hella shy at first, bro. How did how did you? We were like bro, this, bro. like this, like this. All right, how did you? I right, so, say, bro, say like... you're Kev, I'm the ex. Uh huh. <laughs> no. So I was in the car. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh okay, I right, reenacted, uh, bro, with like with your own hand, like kind of like. Like how did how did how did you? I'm the ex. I'm the ex. How did you sauce her up? No, she sauced me up. <laughs> she sauced me up because I was being hella shy, bro. What did she tell you? No, no, no. Well, actually, probably like to, uh, before this, like, like we would go on like other dates, and then she'll try to kiss me, but I would just be shy, bro. She would like, she would like, um, like do throw hands. She'll like get closer like this. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna kiss you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> she will like throw hands and like, I, and like I'll get them, but I'll just be shy, bro. Mm, I was like, nervous, huh? yeah, I was like, obviously I wanted to do it, but I was just shy because I never got my first kiss. I didn't know how to fucking kiss, so. Alright, bro, look. But pretend, just... pretend the camera is your ex. Like, how did it go down? Alright, so. Alright, are you like... ready? Or hold on, let me count you down. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 ready? Three, two, one. Like. And then she started making out with me. And then I would just, I didn't know what the fuck to do. And I just went with the flow. <laughs> just, just went with the flow. Just went with the flow, bro. She finally, I guess, 
she had enough of like me like not getting the hint even though I did. I was yeah, just shy. she got tired of it. And she then she got tired of it. She, and then I guess one day we were in the car and then she was getting closer and then she just grabbed my face, bro. I started throwing it. Mm -hmm. I, at that point, we were already like texting and like talking. So like she already know. We both knew what was the deal. So, but I was just nervous. Got but, you, got you. And then, yeah. Thank you for the reenacting, bro. For sure, bro. What is one of your biggest goals in life or in the future? Bro, I feel like, oh man, I want to hit a million subscribers. Yeah? Yeah, that's one of them, bro. Imagine seeing a million on the channel. <coughs> Jayco, below, a million subscribers. Damn. Uh, 1.2, whatever, a million. Uh, that's that's one of them. I want to I wanna buy my parents a house. Shout out Santi, he's already doing that. That's fucking big. For real. That's crazy. Big blessing, shout out him. Just those two, to be honest. Those, those are the two main goals that I want to accomplish. A million subscribers and buying my parents a house. That's like, I feel like, oh yeah, those are the two main actually. And I got like, you know, I just got like other like little ones, like buying my dream car and shit like that. But those are the most main that I want to mm -hmm. do. Kevin, I don't know if you've ever dealt with this, but how do y'all deal with hate? Oh, oh my God, bro. You, we answer, we answered this in the Sweetie podcast, but. Oh really? Yeah, because, no, but look, you know why? Because bro, Oh man, it's cause bro, like I don't really get hate, mm -hmm. cause like, well me, I like, I'm talking like for myself, I don't really get hate because I don't really like, I feel like I'm a chill person, like, I mean yeah, there's always like some haters, but like overall like hate hate, not really, cause I just be, do you, I just be do you ever get hate at all? I mean, not hate, but there's like people that like just talk shit, mm -hmm. you know, just like, but I mean even then like it's not it's not like a lot, it's just like that one person. But even then, like, but if you're talking like overall, like, it's because I never experienced hate, hate. Not, mm -hmm. I don't think so. Cause I just, how do you experience with like, I guess, like negative comments? Then? Oh, negative comments. Yeah, I mean, uh, I just recently, not recently, but like a couple months, like even before we move out, we moved into our own place. I just feel like I just think about it like just a person behind the screen just saying it, like you know, I I really like started like not caring what people say. Mm -hmm. And just yeah, like, I just don't care. I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let a comment. Say it again. Just ignore them, basically. Yeah, just ignore them, and like, I'm not gonna let a comment ruin my day. Cause, bro, what? It just at the end of the day, it's just somebody behind that screen. Mm -hmm. That's I don't know. That's probably not even doing shit. Saying yeah. that. All right, Pep, hey, What gets you up in the morning to start grinding, or do you kind of just like get up and you're like, oh man, another day. Here we go. Hmm. No. Um, well first, I wake up every day to go to the gym. I feel like the gym just boosts up my like, my self-esteem. I don't even go to the gym like just to say that I want to go. I just It's not a hobby. I like going to the gym. I think I spend like two hours in it every morning. Part of it because I always, I always wake up early, bro. Like at 7 a.m., go to the gym, and it just makes my day better. I As long as I go to the gym, I already know I'm going to have a good day, a decent day. At mm -hmm. least, yeah, just going to the gym, bro. I like yeah. going to the gym. I feel like, bro, going to the gym first thing in the morning or first mm -hmm. thing out of the day mm -hmm. is a great thing to do because it's just like right there, first thing in the day, you just get that. Once you get out of the gym, you just get that feeling of productivity, like, oh man, yeah, yeah like, I yeah. got something done today. And then, and then, something good for myself. Yeah, and then me, well, I, I don't know, just me, I like sweating. I don't know, just I, I love being active and sweat and sweating. So as long as I do that and go to the gym or even just go on a hike. I'll, I'll start. I, that's how I'll start off my day, and then I'll start off like I just, it just boosts my self esteem. It just, I feel good. Yeah, I wake starting. up, be grateful, go to the gym, and then be, be that's pumped for the day. That's a great way to start your day, bro. Mm -hmm. Do something that makes you feel productive, and then remind yourself of the things that you should be grateful yes, for. Yes, yes. That's cause, great, bro. Because I feel great like sometimes I take a lot of things for granted. Down yeah, even, like, bro. Realize, it happens. But, it happens to all of us. But you know, you know this. You gotta, gotta be at least, yourself. yeah, I gotta remind myself that You're I'm blessed. really out here, I'm blessed, and then, yeah. Pretty basic question, what is your biggest fear? Like, fuck, like, actually, it's two main ones. One, like, whatever one, I fucking hate snakes. Like, yeah? mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember we did that video, I did not want to fucking touch that snake. And another big one is losing my mom. Ooh. I feel like that's everyone's worst fear. That's a huge I'll, one, bro. I was, I would, I really, cause I'm gonna keep it real. I'm a, 
uh, I, grew, I just grew up with my mom, a single mother, so I've always been like a mama's boy. Mm -hmm. So, and I'll always continue to be a mama's boy. So if I if I were to lose my mom, I would lose my shit. I was just like, I wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. And then I would just start freaking out. I wouldn't. Yeah. Oh, but yeah. That's, that's, that's a, a big fear. two big ones. That's the big one, though. Kev, why are you always talking about dick? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's just funny, bro. <laughs> it's just funny, bro. Kev, what's the best way to stay motivated as an influencer? That's Damn, a big question, that's bro. That's a big question. I'm pretty sure, bro, there's not one influencer who has been consistent their whole career. Like, every influencer goes through, like, True. their, their yeah. peak where they're, like, grinding, 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 and I don't know where they'll be gone for, like, a couple weeks. Then they'll come back again. Like, it happens to everybody, so... What is the best way to stay motivated? Okay, one big way I see it is that I'm thankful to have to be an influencer and to have it as like my my job, because you know you could be working construction or yeah. having like a nine to five, it, which nothing's wrong with having a nine to five. But I gotta remind myself that sometimes I take. I mean, I feel like we all do sometimes. We take being an influencer as a, as granted, because I don't know. I guess we don't like have to work i guess i don't know and then like we just like we just get too comfortable and then like just fall in like the wrong stuff and then i mean that's how i really just stay like motivated like thank god i can take my job wherever i want really with the camera yeah. all i gotta do is record and then, and then yeah that's how that's that's how i see it and also i gotta remind also one of the reasons I, I remind myself, or well, like, I, I look at my phone, cause my mom texts me every day, even though I'm not with her, I don't live with her, but she texts me every day, good morning. So I see as my mom, like, it's a big reason why I, sh I should be consistent, stay motivated. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm doing, at the end of the day, I'm doing it for her. For both, for my parents, my brothers, everyone, and myself too, of course. But mostly, cause of my mom. My whole life, I grew up with my mom, a single mother, so I do everything I do, it's for her. So I see her as like my biggest motivation. Yeah. I'm doing this for her. And then, you know, eventually I'll buy her a house. The time will come. But yeah, my mom is my biggest motivation. I love her. And then, yeah, that's how I see it. It's mama's boy. Mama's boy. Like that Always. Too, yeah. Always, bro. Kev, are you currently talking to anybody? No. Not at all, nobody in the DMs, nothing like that. Oh, no. Nah, bro, why is my No, but bro? if you want to fill that spot in, ladies, my Instagram will be down below, so. Damn. Go ahead and DM me. pop it up on yeah. the screen right now. So if you want to fill that spot in, like, go hit the DMs. <laughs> but bro, but there's not that one girl that you've been, like, DMing back and forth with recently or something like that. No. No? I just been focusing on myself. Nah, you thought about it too, you thought <laughs> nah. about it too long, bro. No, nah, oh, bro. No. But if you do want to feel that spot in, of course. The Instagram's right there, so. What did you first think of everybody in the group? So we'll go person by person. Start and out with you. Your first thought of that person. Alright. I remember the first time I met you. I don't know, I was like first I was mostly intimidated by you. Because <laughs> you were like, I don't know, like you just look like a crazy motherfucker, bro. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just felt like you wouldn't, you didn't like me. But the first time I met you, bro, we were in the car. You fucking ran into the car, and then you started being cool as fuck. Be mm -hmm. like, I remember I was right here driving, and you came right here. Mm -hmm. Like you walked in. Either you, I think, who when was it? I think it was it when we were going to Mania. Y'all came to pick me up. At yeah, the yeah. Then we went to Mania, and then you, this motherfucker opens the door and be like, "Hello!" I didn't even know who the fuck. I mean, <laughs> like. It's not like we haven't met before, and then he was just like, Kevo, what's up? And I was just like, damn, this motherfucker's cool already. And then and then after that, and after that, you were vibes as fuck. You were cool as fuck. You know, you were being like, you were actually like talking to me, being funny and shit like that. I felt like I already met you. Mm -hmm. It was like the first day that I met you, you were being cool as fuck. Friendly you're, vibes, friendly, friendly vibes. Friendly vibes, so yeah. Next, let's do Jose next. Bro, Jose, Jose didn't like me at first. Oh, for real? Yeah, he would say that I would be like too touchy. I'd be like, <laughs> like, like this, like I'll be like that and yeah. shit like that. But then eventually, like we all started being. But like, what was like your initial thoughts of him? 
Oh, nothing, bro. I thought he was cool. But that's what I'm saying, though, because he thought that he didn't really like me at first. I was like, oh, he, he don't like me. So I just mm -hmm. like, I was just like, it's not that he didn't like me. He just, he, he didn't like the fact that I would be like too touchy. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, oh, this motherfucker don't fuck with me. But I mean, I mean, what I thought of him, he was like cool. Mm -hmm. I thought he was cool as fuck. You're all cool as fuck. First now, thoughts on Ray? When did I first meet Ray? You and Ray were the most like, that would be more talkative. Like more, more like cracking jokes, more be funny. Like with me. Yeah, you and Ray, and Ray was cool as fuck. He would like, mm -hmm. he would like be more cool, you know. First impression of Yero? Oh, bro. Yero was vibes as fuck, cause mm -hmm. we met, we met at the store that I used to work with, and then that first day, we made it like a sus TikTok. Oh. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro, Yero was cool as fuck. He was like, yo, he was like, like another Houston homie. Mm -hmm. He was like cool as fuck. He was like, yo, what's up, bro, this and that, and like, and then the first day that we met, we made a TikTok, and then I already knew he was going to be cool as fuck. So. And then first impression of Santi. I'm pretty sure this is like way back before he Damn. was even doing social media. Yeah, this is... I think the first encounter I had was, I was cool with another friend, uh, Emino, and then we, actually, actually we both transferred to the same school, mm -hmm. the same year. So he was already cool with my friend Emino, and then I would be cool with Emino, so he would be like, like there. So I just said what's up and this and that, uh -huh. and then yeah, that's pretty much it to be honest. But you thought he was cool? Yeah, I thought, thought I, yeah, I thought he was cool as fuck, cause he 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 would be like, he would be in the same like, I guess like circle, in high school, so he would be like, I I know that's how I met him, I met him through mutuals, and then yeah, he's being cool as fuck. Yeah, what's up, Kevo? <laughs> Kev just be getting along with everybody, man. Nah, Kev, yeah, Kev be vibes. Like, yes, sir, bro. If there's anybody just, that's very welcoming and easy to be friends with, it's Kev, man. That's like, facts, though. Boy would just be friends with anybody, really. Like, all you got to do is just be chill, be cool, be vibes, and be friends bro, with that's Kev. Bro, that's kind of how it was when I first came to L.A. Yeah, I just got along with everybody. Bro, yeah. And then, and then, because uh, obviously, like, coming to L.A. is crazy, because it's big, like, intimidating, too. A lot too. of new people. But then, you know, just... I just started being like being myself, just like talking to people and like I guess making them laugh. And then they were all like, yo, like, yeah, I guess they were all following because they were all thought I was cool and funny. So I'm like, now nah, I'm like, chill. Well, that's gonna do it for the QA yes, with Kev. Clap it up for Kev, man. Thank you, Kev. Yes, Thank you for joining Appreciate this you, little quick QA. Thank you for being in my video, bro. Yeah, bro. Um, I texted him and I was like, Kev, yo, you want to be in uh, this quick part of my video? And he was like, Yeah, bro, let's do it. So, yeah. Thank you, bro. Thank bro, you. Bro, you forgot down. the other part. Hmm? Well, you forgot bro. the other part, bro. What? You're paying me to do this. That's messed <laughs> up, bro. You weren't even supposed <laughs> to mention that. Oh, my God, bro. That's messed up. Hey, you know this, though, bro. I was, I was making you look good, too. Now, uh, if we're being honest, he did charge me 150, but you know, mm -hmm. Kevo is booked and busy right now, so hey, it's bro. understandable. 150 for an hour. Hey, bro, just be grateful I gave you a discounted price, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just playing all jokes. I love Draco. Thank you for having me on your channel. Of course. Thank Ke you guys for watching, man. And uh. Kev's link will be down below. So, mm -hmm. like I said, if you want to fill in that spot. For real, go watch Kevo's YouTube videos, yes, man. They really yes. inspired me to start on my you. grind, so yes, go sir. watch them. Other than that, man, thank you for watching. We love you guys. God bless you, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.